Hey everybody, Goddess and Mischief here with a very special game today, Red Dead Redemption 2. I say we get this story started. Get in there, because I'm excited for this game. I've waited a very long time for a new Red Dead Redemption game. A very, very long time. And here it is. I had pre-ordered it months ago. I am just so glad it's here, finally. I cannot wait. Oh, I like these loading screens, though. Just wonder how long it's going to take us to load into the story. I guess we're loading in now. I think, I hope. The age of laws and gunslingers were at an end. That was RDR1. And that took place in like early 1900s. Can I skip? Or is it going to tell us? Yeah, we can skip this part. As much as I want to see it, I want to get to the story. Duchess Gang, it's been a long time since I've seen any of these guys. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Abigail. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur. Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he. You know. This game looks beautiful. Come on. Come on. To the mining town, I guess. Are we going to take control of Arthur now? Chapter 1, Coulter. Slightly different than the first one. Bill, fancy seeing you. Oh, look, it's Baby Miss Jack. Get that fire lit quick, Miss Jones. Abigail. We have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. First of all, you're going to stay here, and you are going to get yourself warm. Dutch. John and Mike are scouting out ahead. John! Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. Yes. Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. 
I loved. Davey. Jenny. Sean, Mac, they may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead. Sure, I'd you a Dutch. Bless. Sure. But we are going to ride out and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all Uncle. Of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So, they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? Do we want to know? That's what happened. Come on. Now do we get to take control right. of Arthur? You need horses? Oh yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith. Get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. Yay, Boy, finally. Need you strong. Okay. Oh, the snow is amazing. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to Oh, I missed this. <laughs> we'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. I miss Rockstar's horses. They've always been some of my favorite horses. I can't tell if my horse is female or not, so I was going to name her, but he's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me get the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on. Stay strong right now. We got a fire and shelter. That's a start. All right. Where are you guys? Hey, I think I see something up the path. <laughs> That's something, all right. You up ahead. Who's there? Not John. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. It sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. This is Why, hey, so this lovely. Is... I am glad oh, it was oh, worth oh, the oh, wait. Oh, Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? Didn't see much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. Yeah, sure it does. Sure. There somewhere too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. 
Oops. <laughs> Micah, turn off your light. They'll see us coming. Let's hitch up here. Let's hitch our horse. And get going. The snow is so ridiculously deep. You too. Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Alright. We got this. As you know, it's not sketchy that we've got some uh, extra footprints. I did not mean to stand up. Did I not hit him? Could have swore I did. I did shoot his. Climb. Where is he? He won't last out there by himself. Arthur, I said I'd handle this. Didn't seem to be going too well. Goddamn O'Driscoll boy's here. Why? I don't know. It was an accident, Dutch. Jeez. Go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. I did not mean to stand up. Quiet Dutch. Uh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your 
Heads up for the ride back. Hold. Ugh, this isn't gonna be fun. the joint. up here, see if there's anything. Any of the revolver cartridges? I can use those. I'm glad I checked up there. give us monies. I can't search that. Oh, wait, is it going to let me search it now? A dollar and 18 cents. Spend it all in one place, I promise. I think we got all we could take. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Now oh, this is an outhouse. What am I in here for? There's the burn. Over there. <laughs> the snow is too deep it won't let me run there we go Punching this guy in the face. Oh, did he now? Sneaky little bastard. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch would talk. Come on. Where's Colm O'Driscoll? We have the others. And where are the others? Fiction to rob some train. 
Gonna blow the tracks. I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Get the hell out of here. Go. I want my hat. Can I get I want my hat? I'm gonna pat the horse. There, boy. Come on, horse. <laughs> Let's get going. Micah, you need to slap upside the head. But she's gonna freeze. Sadie Adler. Why does that sound familiar? He... He was my husband. Good job. Hey everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Cole O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found... Some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? Yes, please. And Mrs. Adler, At least we could do is show her some hospitality. Okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan? We put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Well, I guess that was chapter one or a bit of chapter one. Hey, 
ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm we'll sorry. find I'm sorry him. Ask, it's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Have you? Yes. Have you? Oh, Escuela. To take a look for John. You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. You look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Alright guys, I'll end this video here and we'll continue finding John in the next one. Scott us some mischief out.